Hi everyone, welcome back again to another Flutter tutorial. And a couple of weeks before, we just posted a tutorial where we just discussed about the API HTTP request. And what we actually did there was we just made an API call to the backend, and the backend in turn will be responding with some kind of data in JSON format and will be simply displaying that uh, values in the UI, right? Hope you all remember that. And in this tutorial is quite similar to that one, but we have added an extra feature that instead of simply getting the data from the backend and displaying it in UI, we will be passing custom data to the backend via that API and the API in turn will be storing that data to the backend server. And this data what we have sent as a request will in turn will be uh, re returned as a response via that API. So what we have what we are actually sending we will be getting as the response from the API. So this is what we will be discussing in this video tutorial. Okay. Let's have a quick demo of how the app actually works so that you can understand it quite better. Here we have a simple button which actually uh, makes a call to the external API and I have passed two parameters that is allies and flutter okay so these two uh, values is being passed via the API whenever this button is being pressed okay so let's see what is actually happening in the back end and also pay attention over this console right now let me click on this button here uh, what actually it does is pass data this allies and flutter is being stored in the back end and it, it is responded with the same so the entry is seven actually we already have six entries in the back end and this is the seventh entry and the same name allies and flutter is being displayed or it is been uh, got from the response okay you can just click it again you see the entry is eight we can actually change the name and check that as well now i have actually changed the uh, passing custom data to bobby and react let me click that again you can see the entry s9 and the name is bobby and react hope you all understand the flow of how the app is working with this idea let's move on to the coding part to understand it in a bit more detailed manner This UI we have already discussed in the part 1 video. If anyone is new to this video, you can kindly do check that out. And I will also leave the link at the card at the top. Okay. And so the inside the on press event, we need to call this function which is add data, which is the custom data what I have defined. And I have passed in the parameters as allies and flutter. So let's have a look at the add data function. Inside this add data function, we will be making use of the HTTP POST method. In the previous part 1 video, for getting the data from the backend, we will be making use of HTTP GET. It's here over, right? Using the HTTP GET method, we will be passing the API URL alone, right? To get the data from the backend. But in this case, instead of just passing the URL, we need to pass certain parameters as well. The first one is general, it is the API URL, okay? So, um, if you are uh, new to this video, I recommend you to watch the part 1 video so that you can understand it quite better, right? So, uh, this is the API, original API, that is the generic form of uh, the base URL, what we call. This user is actually the endpoint, okay? Uh, so, this is the complete API URL, what we have provided over here. And the next parameter, what we need to pass for the post is the headers. So, headers. Considering the headers, it is uh, actually, it contains a wealthy set of information that is a metadata which is very much helpful for making an API request. So, you just need to pass in the headers and followed by headers, we have the body. Inside this body is what we will be actually passing the data what we need to store in the backend, okay. So, this name and tech is the key and what we have uh, the parameter is the value, okay. So, the name is allies and take is flutter in our case okay so this is what the uh, http post method will actually look like followed by so we have made use of await method so whenever the 
request has been made and if it is uh, done then after that we will be checking for the response status code okay in the previous video we just checked for status code 200 that is the generic success code okay whenever a request is being success then the status code will be 200 rather in this case we need to check for 201 which indicates that um, the request has been processed successfully and a new resource that is uh, some kind of new resource is being created in the backend which is what it denotes so we need to check for that 201 in case of post method okay we need uh, we will be checking for that condition and simply we will be printing that response body this is what we just saw during the demo what have showed initially the con in the console we will be printing the id name and text that is what i have uh, written down here and whenever it is a success one and as usual we will be making use of the json decode method and uh, mapping those key and values to the corresponding set of variables okay so this is the complete flow of how the app is being processed and the api is being called so whenever this uh, add data is being called the values are stored in the corresponding variables and for displaying that in the ui i'll be making use of the future builder so in say this future builder we will be checking for has data as usual uh, whether the snapshot that is the success one and if the response actually contains some data we will be building a text widget with the name and the tick okay or else if it has an error then we will be simply displaying the error value okay uh, so if none of the case gets satisfied we will be simply uh, making use of the circle progress indicator okay so let me run that app again and show you uh, again a simple demo uh, i am clicking that and you get the response as successful okay so this is what we just left out with part one video so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do so consider subscribing and i will see you in the next one bye